Okay, so it's time for the first mystery tackle box of the season. Um, I get these six months out of the year because I live in Vermont and six months out of the year our lakes are frozen. So, And I do do some ice fishing. I wanted to do some ice fishing videos this year, but I didn't get around to it. Sorry. But so this is the first mystery tackle box. I get it March. Kind of sucks, but it's the way it came out. I'd rather get it in April. Because March, well, take a look at this. Mid-March. This is what it looks like in my neighborhood. That's a little tree there covered in snow. There's my car. I don't think I'm going fishing anytime soon. You can't really see this, but there is about two feet of snow, fresh snow, and it's snowing lightly right now, and it's supposed to snow all day today. So, happy spring. <laughs> so, as you can see, I'm probably not going to be fishing anytime soon. So, this is kind of a bittersweet opening of the box. But, <clears throat> hey, I got some new fishing tackle. I'll take it. If you're not familiar with Mystery Tackle Box, it's a subscription-based program. You pay so much a month. Uh, it's like $15 a month. You get about $25 worth of fishing tackle. You get good stuff. Um, if you pay in advance for three months, you get a little bit of a break. Six months like I do, you get even larger. And if you do it all 12 months, I think you pay about $12 a box or something like that. And that includes shipping and handling. I'm not affiliated with them. This is not a paid advertisement. I just, I think it's a neat way to get some inexpensive tackle. And you get, you know, it's like Christmas. You get something every month, so that's cool. One thing you get is a sticker. Uh, the stickers are usually kind of goofy and made more for little kids. But sometimes you get something that's all right. It says mystery tackle box on it or something. You can put it on your tackle box or your boat or something. But a lot of them are kind of goofy. You get uh, this little dibble. It used to be like a little magazine. Now it's more of a pamphlet. But it has information in here, which is, is very handy. And it quite often has something to do with what's in your box. And it tells you what's in your box. So let's take a look here. So the first thing I see is some smart baits. Smart baits are made in the U.S. I don't know, man. Probably the light's really bad here, and it's not going to come out good. But this is a creature bait, and <clears throat> they change color. This is the first first one I've ever had. You can see it's a little creature there, and. Kind of a purplish reddish color with black specks it looks like and it will change color in the water and depending on the temperature of the water it depends on what color it changes it will change several different colors and supposedly it changes to a color that is more tempting to fish in that temperature i don't know sawcraw Max Action Claw Design. So these are crayfish. And they are made by Catch Co. Juiced with stank. I don't really want to open this. Probably going to smell awful. It comes in a little clam shell. Oh yeah, they stink. They really stink. It's a nice craw. It's got these little lips like on the end of their claws. Looks like they'll really will have good action. Woo! And they do stank. <coughs> <coughs> Time to put that back in the package. Of course, it's all over my fingers now. <coughs> and we got a Catch Co. flipping jig. So that should work good with uh, with the you can put that creature bait or the craw on there or something else or fish it by itself. It is it's got a weed guard on it.
and oh, I thought these were for wacky worms or something, little rings, but they're brush bands. They're little rubber bands. And what you do with these is sometimes the bass will bite into this and that'll ow, that'll touch them right there and they don't like it. And what you do is you put you put this in two pieces kind of side by side like I don't know if you can see this well or not so it's not together and you put that rubber band around here and through the middle and around the head and it splits these so it's still weedless but the fish supposedly will bite on there just a little bit longer and I got a couple of 3 aught must-had hooks ultra lock light soft plastic hooks so those will work great for creature baits I got. Well, I didn't show you my crankbait yet. Catchco, the runt. This looks like a good little bait. I'm sure I will catch many fish on this. That's a sweet looking little bait. Got a little tail here. Feels sharp. There's a little rattle to it. <clears throat> fish this little bass slayer with your rod tip down to let it dive, or fish it with your rod tip up to wake it on the surface. It's in ghost gill color. So that's pretty nice. So that's worth. Eight twenty nine. The brush bands are a dollar fifty. Sawcraw is five ninety nine. The swim baits is four fifty, and the must had hooks are dollar sixty nine. So that would come to a total of twenty five dollars and seventy seven cents shipped to your front door. I think that's a pretty good deal. We also have contests. You can take pictures of the fish, measure it here, send it in, and you can possibly win things. I don't know what. I've never done it. But that's it. I wanted to show you my canoe because it's completely buried under the snow, but I actually can't get in my backyard without a pair of snowshoes because the snow is so deep. And I can't get out my back door because the snow is so deep. So. <clears throat> It's going to be a while before I'm fishing. Unfortunately, we had a weird winter. It got really, really warm for a while, and the ice is not really safe to be on, so uh, I'm not gonna be ice fishing at all this year, which really stinks, because I wanted to do some ice fishing videos for you guys. But soon, uh, my workshop is in the garage, so it's very cold out there, it's not heated, uh, but it should be warming up soon, and I will be able to start building some lures and making some soft lures and things like that and get some videos out to you. So until then, I hope you live where you can go fishing and have some fun. Thanks.